welcome to the Summer and Cynthia show. We are so excited to have you back and we hope you are doing well. How are you, Cynthia, today? I am well. You know, we uh, we record these on a Sunday morning and sometimes it's the one day of the week where I try a little harder to put to put together like old pieces like that I've had for many years, but I'm not wearing much these days, feeling good about myself, put on some makeup and, and make it a special day. So thanks Summer for, you know, even embarking on this project with me because it means I get to dress up and, and then I get to see you looking all summery. And the same here, it's an opportunity for us to be a little girly and you know, at least from the waist up, we are perfection all for you. <laughs> but as Cynthia mentioned, we record on Sunday and act today is actually putting a button on Thanksgiving. It was different to say the least. And to kick things off, why don't you tell us, Cynthia, how, how was Thanksgiving for you this year? You know, it was, it was quiet uh, because I have adult children who don't live in Chicago at best, we would have seen one of them for Thanksgiving. We just, um, it's not a good holiday for travel. It's, mm -hmm. and they have friends. And so they more likely than not do friends giving sorts of scenarios. And they were fun to watch, um, to see pictures of and everything. And we connected by a, a phone call and every and stuff. So it was fun in that respect. It was pretty normal. Um, when you are only cooking for two, you steer clear of the 19 pound turkey. <laughs> um, but I did make for, with my new fancy food processor, I had made uh, two pies out of red curry squash and um, they turned out pretty nice. So yeah. it was it was a holiday, but it was different. And it was a pain. It was painful, actually, for some of my friends who were going to you know, drive an hour to sons and daughters-in-law or whoever, some family gatherings, and then they chose to cancel them at the last minute. Mm, you know, <laughs> be ready for any and everything has been the model, the share model for us in 2020. Thanksgiving was, it was sweet, actually. We went to go visit my husband's mother mm -hmm. and we've done that, uh, at least once or twice a month just since the pandemic and it it's a way for us to she she lives alone so we can obviously provide some company uh spend time with her but we usually do it in the driveway we have not been in her house pretty much all year wow. and i know we we go and we just set up chairs and food and all that stuff as if we're having a picnic we're just in the driveway mm -hmm. so we did essentially the same thing for Thanksgiving except this time we had a little bit more of a spread uh, she actually brought out some china she had a tablecloth on a folding table I mean it, it's really about what you make of it and it was perfect and we we had our dinner we ordered uh, the turkey and some other things and I made a couple of sides just because I I wanted to have some normalcy in terms of cooking and um, it was a great time but it was certainly different my neighbors uh, just we were swapping meals uh, earlier in the day I had made a special adult beverage so I, I gave my neighbor a couple of uh, cups of that and then it's what's interesting and the, probably the silver lining in this moment, and I've said it a lot on my podcast, is I've had an opportunity to meet my neighbor. We've been here on a little over three years, and literally this year, we have met people, and, and it's just good to have that sense of community. So while it was definitely a, a different time for us, we, we really made an effort to try to, to make the most out of this situation. And, but we did not go in, in herds to uh, family or friends as much as we would have loved to. Sure. Um, but clearly, you know, we've seen on the news, you know, there's been record uh, in terms of the amount of people going through TSA and then people are traveling and on the roads. And so it, it leads us into today's topic of just holiday greetings. And as we've officially gone underway in, in the holiday season what does that look like next up 
You know, you have Hanukkah, Christmas, and Kwanzaa, and all these things in between. What does it look like for 2020? Yeah, what does it look like? Without, without some of the trappings that society has sort of imposed into our some of our celebrations, particularly the Christmas celebration, um, we have uh, some Hanukkah action in our house every year, but that's always been a very low key holiday for, I mean, mm. it's, it's, um, it's a different, it has a different role in the Jewish calendar of traditions and, and uh, remembrances and observances. So it, that has always never been um, anything over the top or in any way to replace Christmas in our house. Christmas in our house, however, has not had a particular religious connotation to it, but it does have a gathering. Um, everybody has worked really hard to get time off to be around and um, and to just be present. Yeah. And so it's hard. And, and that's all of America is hard. We are, we are mourning right now. We are mourning on so many different levels that we almost, you know, if, if you've been in mourning, you recognize that the greatest strength you have is to stay busy and to keep 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 going and to find that tradition that feels good so that you don't have to remember what you're going to miss. And um, the hard part about that is that we don't have as much strength um, based on the fact that we've been isolated for so long. And we know people who are who have contracted COVID or have passed or are in healthcare or some other essential worker and they have been working, 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 working. Yeah. And, and, and I, and I think about that and I'm like, I'm giving up almost nothing to see. Yes, I won't be seeing my family, um, my kids. Do I put up a tree? Do I not? Oh, wow. These are, these are easy. These are easy problems to solve. It's all, it all has to go on up here. What are you, what are you thinking? I am actually getting ready to go <laughs> Christmas full throttle. And literally, in fact, uh, excuse me in advance, but I may have allergies because I've been in my garage pulling out the Christmas decor this morning. Um, uh, and I'm actually a day, a couple of days behind when usually for Thanksgiving, my mother comes out here uh, to Dallas from LA, spends it with us and we spend with extended family and that type of thing. Obviously my mother did not come this time, but at the day after Thanksgiving, our new tradition in the last couple of years has been decorating the tree on Friday. Mm -hmm. So I missed Friday, missed yesterday. And so today I just, for me to try to make it as normal as possible, I have to participate in decorating. And so, and especially as I'm seeing my neighbors have already begun to put the outdoor de decorations up, I'm slowly hinting to my husband, you know, we've got to do something outside. But if I can't right now control outside in terms of him moving it a little faster to, to make that happen, I at least have all my indoor decorations. So literally after this show, I am going to crank up my Christmas playlist and go for it. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. At some point, yeah. we should talk about the Donna Summer Christmas album because that's one of my Ooh. favorites. Yeah. Oh, you know, one of my so, favorites is uh, Christina Aguilera. Just on a side note, <laughs> but we could definitely talk about, uh, you know, Christmas playlists as we get closer and closer. Did you say one of your neighbors is Christina Aguilera? Oh no, no, no! One of my favorite oh. albums is Christina. I wish. I would have casually <laughs> said that, darling. Matter of fact, she would have been sitting next to me sometime. <laughs> oh, you know, though, I, I, I know for sure I'm going to be decorating some, but I, I'm going to be pretty selective because this is, this is, on the other hand, um, it will be a memorable year for many reasons. It's, it's going to be such an anomaly. It's going to be something we've never lived through before. Right now I'm focusing on getting stuff ready so that it can go in a box so that it can get sent and not be part of the, you know, the super rush for both of my kids. And in care pack packages? Well, I mean, it's the presents, what they, you know, what yeah. they are and usually smaller than, you know, you might give if it's somebody who's going to be driving away in a car. 
and we're going to do holiday cards this year, but because we aren't all together and we've always done a family picture and I didn't want to do a Zoom picture, we're doing old school cards with some sort of little update thing of everybody and making sure everybody has every everybody's emails and things. Um, and how to follow us all on Instagram. And, um, and so that, that Christmas card list, that holiday card list will go out. And that's a tradition that is, I mean, that's just, it's an outreach thing. And then I was kind of thinking, well, maybe I won't put up my tree, but rather I'll take all my lights and just light the, the bejeebers out of all the lights that face either into our courtyard or out into um, the street and what the other buildings can see into us and you know kind of share a little bit of love that share a little bit of the light as we get into these long dark days yes I, I, I have mentioned on another episode and I'll mention again we are fortunate my husband and I this year we're traveling for Christmas you know doing the thing that we were just talking about uh not doing but we have taking our precautions all year long, saving up our exposure for this trip. And so we are looking forward to that. Another thing Dr. Fauci would probably side eye us on is we went out into the mall Friday morning because my husband is silly. And I told him we could do this online, but he was obsessed with going to Tommy Bahama for the trip. And he didn't want to do it online. I was like, okay, well, if we got, we're only going here, here, and at, first thing when it opens and you're not touching anything and yada 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 and and so we got our things and got the heck out of there it was definitely busy and um you know it, it's just kind of bizarre to see people doing we're trying to do things as if nothing's happening and and that's not a judgment at all but uh, on the same token it's like you've got this elephant in the room or in the air <laughs> right you know right. and so after that we felt a little like mm, maybe that wasn't a good idea I was like I told you this well tomorrow Cyber Monday I mean we didn't yeah. but it, you know we got out there and we did it but it, it's just trying to find as much normalcy as possible and in in a safe manner yep. as possible yep. you know and, and, and you, but you will remember that for the long, long time versus any other Black Friday that, right. that was very similar to another Black Friday. This is going to be a holiday season every step of the way that is going to be different. So I, I think I'm just um, kind of thinking about this whole conversation. I'm just saying up front, my expectations are really low of myself because sure. I know that it means a lot to me. It's, it's not just that that each holiday season, I certainly miss the people who have passed in my in my life, and I and I think about all the great memories of my growing up and my kids growing up, and 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 I also think about Christmases to come and holidays to come, and yeah. I want to be around for them. Yeah. And this is just going to be different, and I have to and I have to come to grips with that. And um, it's it's taking some time, but I don't want to risk anybody else and I don't want to risk myself none of it is worth it yeah and there's uh, kind of like with morning I always say there's not a wrong or right way clearly yes there is, when it comes to safety there's some things that you know CDC has has told us not to do from a common sense and medical perspective but for the most part in terms of how you deal with this from a mental space it's, it's up to you. There's no right or wrong way. It sucks. There is nothing wrong with admitting this time is hard because we're stuck in isolation at one of the one moments of the year where it is all about being together yeah. and yeah. gathering. And, and we are literally not supposed to do that right now. Yeah. It, it is hard. And that's, it's okay to say that. So if you're watching this and it's still the month of December and you want to tell us what you're thinking, or if you just want to vent about how it, it, it just sucks and it's not fair, because I think we're with you on that, send us a note and we will we'll talk about it a little bit more on the air when we record again next week. We are happy, happy to include your thoughts and maybe your ideas about how you're modifying your tradition because we, by golly, we are in this for just one year. We can do this for just one year. We can totally do this. 
And if no one else, Cynthia and I are here to support you, we hope you click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And just, you know, let us know what's on your mind. As Cynthia had suggested, our email is right below. But, you know, the most important thing is to be kind to yourself and to others. And, and, and let's take it day by day. There's no right or wrong way to deal with this. We've got your back. Yes. And we're all in this together. And manage expectations. Make sure that those around you realize you're only human, that you've been in isolation as much as everybody else has this year. Mm-hmm. The kids, obviously, you know, holidays is, is a huge time for the kids. And that's perhaps where you, you know, that's where I would want to be spending even more time if I had younger ones in the circle. So, you know, manage, manage the expectations of those. And then most importantly, manage your own expectations because you are only human. And that's, that's what we have for you today because Summer and Cynthia, sometimes we just are like, we know we're feeling it. You must be too. Exactly. So we thank you for watching. Looking forward to catching you on another episode. Drop us a note. And more importantly, subscribe. Yes. And if, you're th- and if your turkey is gone from your refrigerator, that's a good thing. But if you still have some Jello left over, best you get it taken care of today. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're out of here. Peace out. Peace. <laughs>